Hey, I'm Nick and I've got a new ESC for the Mini B. This is the Hobby Wing Easy Run 18 Amp designed for 1 18th scale vehicles. And in this video, we're gonna take it out of the box and put it in the Team Losi Mini B. Here it is, the Baby Easy Run 18A. Now, to my knowledge, this is the smallest ESC that Hobby Wing has ever made for cars. And when you open the box, you'll see that it is spectacularly small. This thing is adorable, really. It comes in the same box as <laughs> just about all the other Hobby Wing ESCs. And by the way, these boxes are fantastic. I keep them to hold my motors um, for motor storage. Let's pull this ESC out of the packaging here, and we can see straight away that it's it's very small, obviously. On this side, we've got the power switch and your receiver connection. And on this side, we've got the battery cable, which this is some pretty thick wire. That's 16 wire gauge, uh, which I think is overkill. I believe the Mini B battery is 18 gauge, and, and even that seems a little bit big. Uh, then you've got your three uh, motor wire connections. Those are three and a half millimeter bullets, I believe. And you've got this capacitor, which I think is the same capacitor as all of the other brushless ESCs that Hobby Wing makes, so it's probably overkill for, for this little guy. But look at the thing, it's tiny, it's adorable. Um, I believe the footprint is about 31 millimeters long, and that's including this little uh, PCB thing. Actually, let's let's check. The footprint is just 27 and a half if you're looking at the the body, that's 27 and a half long. But if you're looking at this little PCB extension, you're looking at about 33 millimeters by just under 25 millimeters wide. So this thing this thing's tiny. Also, it comes with some mounting tape for both the ESC and the switch there, as well as a couple little lengths of heat shrink tube. You've got your instructions, which has all of your parameters for programming as well. Comes with a couple zip ties, that's always nice. And of course, stickers. So this is what we're putting it in. It's a Losi Mini B, and um, obviously I have a brushless motor in it now. This is the Zippy Compact 850 milliamp hour battery that I sell on my store. I'll put a link in the description as well as a Spectrum SR3520 receiver. This is a really small receiver, so it gives us a little bit of space right here to mount the ESC. Now, I don't think the ESC will fit this way, which is kind of how I was hoping to do it, but it will fit lengthwise like that. And it doesn't protrude into the battery area at all, so we can still use the stock battery if we wanted to. The supplied tape is a little bit oversized, so I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. I'm just going to stick it right over here. Just like that. Actually, that looks pretty good for the, the scale that we're going for. The Mini B is about 30% smaller than a 1 tenth scale buggy. Um, and I'd say this ESC is about 30% smaller than a normal ESC. So I think we're right there when it comes to scale. I used a small screwdriver to coil up the receiver wire. This keeps everything neat and tidy and it also reduces radio interference. Now where do I want to put the switch? There's not a lot of real estate left on this thing. I don't think I want to put it on top of the servo just because if I ever race this thing, I might want to put a transponder there. So I think I'm going to route it over this way and stick it on top of my receiver. 
for the motor connections. I don't know if I want to trim these and solder them directly, so I'm probably just going to connect them up and tuck the wires underneath the battery strap. Now the only thing left is to change out this weird connector for an EC2. The first step is to tin the wires. That's coating each exposed end of the wire with solder. Like most RC power connectors, an EC2 is just two bullet connectors that are housed in a plastic housing. Here I'm tinning the back part of each connector. I'm using a spring-loaded pair of snap ring pliers to hold the connector while I solder it. Be careful it gets hot. Now I'm holding it with a hemostat and I'm reflowing the solder joint so that I can straighten out the wire. Finally, the bullets can be pressed into the EC2 housing. I think this is the hardest part, and sometimes it helps to heat up the plastic housing with a lighter, just a little bit, so that it softens the plastic. You need to press it in all the way until you hear a sharp click. Sometimes I use a small flat blade screwdriver to push it in. My initial reaction is that this ESC has a lot of drag brake. I decided to dial it down a little bit by using my Hobbywing programming box. It just plugs right into the ESC using the receiver connector. Then all you have to do is turn it on and follow the guide on the back. These numbers correspond to each parameter and their value. I was able to turn the drag brake down to zero. I brought the Mini B outside for a test run. Even with the drag brake set all the way at zero, it still seemed to lock up the tires on a slick surface, or even this concrete, when you let off the throttle. I don't think this is necessarily the fault of the ESC though, it's just that I don't have a large enough pinion gear, and this buggy is very, very light. On the bright side, this thing is seriously quick. I estimate probably around 25 to 30 miles an hour. I think with a larger pinion gear, it could go even faster. But since I'll be using this Mini B on a dirt track, I think it's just fine the way it is. Here's some onboard footage I took with a Runcam 2 action camera. Well, that's about it. This was the Hobbywing Easy Run 18 Amp Mini Brushless Speed Controller, and it fits perfectly on this Mini B. I don't think it's going to fit as well on a Mini T just because the chassis is a little bit shorter. You might have to get a little bit creative with how you mount it. Uh, but for this, there's plenty of space there, and it's a great option for a modern Mini Brushless ESC. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.